guys, welcome to the Bourboneering YouTube channel. I'm your host, Austin. Let's get started. Y'all, it's my favorite time of year. It's March, it's late March. That means it's time for our March Madness style bourbon bracket battle. So this year, I'm doing it a little differently. I'm gonna explain it, and then we're actually gonna see the first round today. So this year, I'm pitting six whiskeys against each other. Uh, and actually, if you count all three, I'm pitting uh, eight whiskeys against each other. Um, coming from three different distilleries, and we're gonna see who comes out on top. So today's basis for entry is craft or smaller distilleries that I've worked with on the podcast that I really like. It's gonna be tough because every single one of the whiskeys in here I love and I recommend. Um, so it's gonna be hard to pick one over the other, but I'm a, that's why I'm doing it blind. Everything, the second and third rounds are gonna be blind. The first round is gonna not be, but you'll see that in a second. So I'm gonna talk about each whiskey and each distillery a little bit, and then I'm going to do our first round, which is the playing games. We're gonna pit. Uh, I only want in the second round. I only want two whiskeys from each distillery. So I have, if you can see, I have three whiskeys from both uh, Wilderness Trail and Sugarfield here. So I got to pair those down by one, and I'll show you how I do that in a second. Uh, this is gonna be a fun competition. It's all bourbon this year. That's sticking to bourbon. There's one thing I want to stipulate here. I, I wanted this to be an eight team, two for me, four distillery, eight whiskey uh, bracket. Uh, I wanted to include uh, Old Dominic's Healing Station line of bourbon. I have a awesome single barrel from them, uh, but I was unknowingly, I was mistaken. I thought I had some of the regular whiskey, uh, re regular bourbon, um, but I was out. So that's my fault. They're a great distillery. Go check them out. I'm sorry that I didn't have it in here in time, but I need to get this video out. So we're going with six teams. Uh, it's going to be uh, the first round. Again, it's going to be a head to head within uh, each distillery. And I'll show you that in a second. Again, hold on. Uh, and then the second, third round is going to be blind pitting randomly selected whiskeys against each other. It could be they could both be from the same distillery. They could not be. We're going to have one winner. And the final round is going to be a round of three people, three bourbons, excuse me. I'm going to try to it again blind. So we'll see. But I want to go ahead and jump in and explain each distillery and talk about each bottle here. Um, I'm going to start with uh, Wilderness Trail over here. So I'm going to let our MC talk about Wilderness Trail real quick. Out of Danville, Kentucky, Wilderness Trail is a craft distillery making all of their own products. Their three regular release bourbons, all bottled in bond, shoot way above their age. Their four to five year bourbon options include a high rye and high wheat option, and their higher end product is a six year age stated high rye bourbon. All right, so Wilderness Trail Distillery, as you heard, is out of uh, Danville, Kentucky. They, uh, I interviewed with some of their brand ambassadors. They are all, first, those two people were awesome people. We talked like an hour after we hit, uh, stopped recording. Awesome podcast. Go check that out on my, uh, podcast feed. But I love what they're doing. They make their own stuff. This is all, uh, their own juice. You know, they're not sourcing, which is nothing wrong with sourcing. Most of these, rest of these whiskeys are sourced. But just the fact that they're releasing a great product. So the whole concept here is I'm going to be having, um, in the second round, at least, I'm going to have one high end and one more regular release from each distillery. Now, you see there's three here, not two, from Wilderness Trail. So, the high end whiskey is already set. This is going to be our uh, this, their six year here. This is their high rye uh, mash bill, uh, six year old. Uh, this is set. This is going in. This is in the bracket. Now the uh, first round contenders are going to be the their uh, f non age shaded small uh, it's straight so it's at least four years old I believe these are around five years old but we have their uh, rye mash bill and their weeded mash bill going head to head to see who makes it in to the tournament here and again after this this is not going to be blind I'm gonna try this head to head in just a second uh, but it will be blind going forward after that so these are the same mash bill. These each have their same mash bill, except one has rye, one has wheat. Same amount of, uh, so, so yeah, it's they're both 64% corn, and they're both 12% malted barley. This is 24% rye, and this is 24% wheat. So that's the difference here. Try this out. I'm really excited. These are both bottled and bonded 100, uh, yeah, bottled and bonded 100 proof. 
The six year is also bottled bond 100 proof. So that works out, that's nice. Our next distillery, I'm gonna let uh, our MC talk about it, is Sugarfield. So Sugarfield Spirits, MC hit it. Out of Gonzales, Louisiana, Sugarfield Spirits is a small upstart distillery making killer rums, gins, and liqueurs. They have a knack for sourcing great bourbon barrels. Their two main lines of bourbon include their 97 proof batches, this one being batch four, and their special release line. Here we have special release one and special release two. All right, thanks, MC. So, the uh, for this one's opposite. We have our uh, the one that's set already for Sugarfield is kind of their regular release. They do it batch by batch. This happens to be a batch four, but this is kind of their regular release, and they release it at ninety seven proof. Uh, this is sourced. Uh, these batches are sourced, I believe, they're MGP, um, but they're sourced. But they're fantastic. They're really good. Um, now for the higher end version, we're doing a head to head for kind of play in for the first round. And notes are all the same bottles, so there's not much to look at uh, different here. Beautiful bottles uh, is their special releases. So they have a special release one and special release two. These are believe or single barrels, or at least you know blends of one or two barrels that they find really really good and they're released at cast strength. Uh, we got 113.5 for SR1 and SR2 is 121.3. I love both of these. It's gonna be hard to pick. So that's uh, that's gonna be Sugarfield. Love this guy. I talk about them all the time. They're local to me. They're you know 20 minutes from my house. So, and then fi our final entrance. They they don't get a first round entrant. They're set. Uh, it's gonna be from Big River Distilling. It uh, Blue Note is their bourbon line. All their bourbons are Blue Note something. Um, Out of Memphis, Tennessee, Blue Note is a bourbon line from Big River Distilling. Their Juke Joint release at 93 proof is touted the more economical option whiskey that is that is great neat or in cocktails. The nine-year release, also at 93 proof, is more developed higher-end option sourced from Tennessee. Uh, Blue Note is their bourbon line. All their bourbons are Blue Note something. Um, I have their nine-year kind of regular release as our higher-end uh, bottle. And then we also have their Juke Joint at 93 proof. Uh, they're both 93 proof, so that works out as kind of the lower level. It's a little cheap. I think it's like 19 or $29. It's it's a great mixer. Like I said, I love all these whiskeys, so it's hard to um, it's hard to pick. It's going to be interesting to see these head-to-head. -head. We're going to have one winner come out of this, so I'm super excited. So real quick, I'm about to set, uh, clear this off, set up, and do our first round. But first, I want to talk about our sponsor, the Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge again. All right, guys, back at everything cleared off. So let's talk about the Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge. Now, you've heard this ad before. You know I love this group. I always wear their hat, you know, their merch. First thing I want to tell you about is the community. They're willing to meet you wherever you are on your whiskey journey, uh, welcome you with open arms. You make, you'll make you make fast friends, that's for sure. Uh, and you'll get a great resource of very knowledgeable people and you know to learn about the whiskey you're drinking it doesn't even have to be bourbon bur it's rye scotch irish anything you can think of there's people who enjoy it in the group next i want to talk about the charity events uh we're running one right now for uh, folds of honor dude uh, and it's uh in honor of one of our members who uh is a veteran and sadly passed away recently uh it's some great bottles on that raffle and it's supporting an awesome cause so if you like supporting local charities, this is another great reason to join the group. And finally, let's talk about the barrel picks. We had 12 last year. We got even more this year coming up. I'm looking at a bunch right now. Uh, looking at things from Jack Daniels, Barrel Proof, Woodford Double Oak, Four Roses, all sorts of awesome, awesome bottles. So definitely, if you're interested in that, check us out. That uh, You can find more info at... Uh, bourbonbr.com slash join that's bourbonbr.com slash join all right guys it's tournament time let's jump in for the first round and see who's making it in first we gotta clear my, my palette so like i said a thousand times i'll say it again obviously this won't be blind the rest of the rounds will be i'll have samples and have a third party mix everything up uh, and show you the bracket later so Check out Instagram to follow along. If you want to vote on who you think should go through, go check out my Instagram. I'll have some stories up for that. All right. First, let's look at our Wilderness Trail here. This is going to be their high rye. Again, these two are the same mash bill. 
percentage wise, it just swap rye or for wheat in this one. That's gonna be, this one's 64% corn, 24% rye, 12% malted barley. And this one is going to be 64% corn, 24% wheat, and 12% malted barley. We're gonna pour them both just a little bit. Like I said, I love all these bottles. This is going to be very difficult. These are both bottled bonds for 100 proof. At least four years old. I believe these are around five. At least the they are now. The ones that are being released now are. All right. Let's see. And this is hard because these are two completely different mash bills that I'm comparing. Mm. That rye gives a nice cherry note. Nice sweet caramel. It punches way well above its uh, age, I believe. Mm. It smells delicious on here. Let's look at the weeder. Very similar nose in the fat and a little less cherry, a little more of that sweetness, uh, lighter sweetness, like a sugar sweetness. This is like a deep dark cherry, almost like a like a cherry. Uh, Cherry medicine is not a good word for it, but like kind of a deeper cherry note. This is more lighter, like the maraschino cherries that you'll see on top of ice cream sundaes, not like the fancy ones. All right, let's give them a taste. Mm. Very baking spice. It almost tastes like I'm eating some bread. Not bread, not the... It's the sensation of eating bread, a little bit of a yeasty note. It doesn't have the grainy texture of bread, but kind of that yeasty, I, I assume it's yeast, but like a kind of a fresh baked sensation in my mouth. Cherry notes are definitely there, but I get a lot more lighter sweetness on here. Like a lighter caramel, maybe like a caramel uh, hard candy, where there's original maybe. Mm. Super good, super good. I'm not going to give any ratings on these, but I'm going to obviously pick one over the other. All right. Again, a little bit lighter on the sweetness. A little, maybe a little peanut butter I get now. Mm-hmm. Musty cinnamon kind of peanut butter flavor. A, little, a lot more mellow in the sense of the volume of the flavor is not really turned up. These are both, for 100 proof, extremely smooth. And I mean, again, when I say smooth, I mean not, not really have an alcohol bite. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's hard to pick. Like I said, I love these both, and they're completely different, and they have their um, they have their place, you know, each one. <sighs> if I had to choose between the two, it's coming down to the finish, and it's a little the finish about the same length, and the the same backbone notes, but it's a little nuttier on the weeded, and I like that. So I'm gonna go the weeded's making it into the tournament. Now, don't worry, there's still going to be a high rye representative. The six here that I'll be using is a rye mash bill. So, and I believe it's the same rye mash bill, just a little bit older in this one. So, sorry, uh, Wilderness Trail, small batch Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, non weeded, the rye, high rye, black label, if you will. You lose, you're the first loser of the tournament. Congratulations. But again, again, I really want to say all these whiskeys are phenomenal. And I'm sorry that I have to pick one over the other. So,. All right, let me take one more sip. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's delicious. All right, before I pour these next two, get a nice washing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not sponsored by Tobo Chico. I wish I was. But um, hey, Tobo Chico, if you're watching, please sponsor me. All right, let's look at Sugarfield. Let's talk about these a little bit. I'm gonna pour them, let them kind of air out because they are higher proof. This is gonna be SR1 on the on my left. 
you're uh, maybe you're right. I don't know how cameras work. <laughs> I don't know how cameras work, says the YouTuber. Good pop right there. Just a little bit. I'm gonna turn the label so you can see, uh, you may not be able to see it. This is SR1, Special Release 1. These are both brand new bottles that you can, can't tell. Picked these up relatively recently. I, I go to the distillery a lot and drink from there. So I honestly, a lot of their bottles sit on my shelf because you know I show people whenever they come over. But other than that, if I want to pour of it, I go to the distillery and hang out and drink from there. So that's kind of, it sounds bad that they sit on my shelf, but they do because I go to the source all the time. This is SR2. These guys are um, located in uh, Gonzales, Louisiana, which is like 20 minutes from my house. Uh, fantastic small little starter. Again, these are sourced from MGP. They're make they make a lot of rum. They're making their own whiskey that they're letting sit and age in, in their barrel house. I can't say enough about these guys. I have podcast episodes with the owners uh, talking about their rum, their spirits, everything what they're trying to do. Great guys over there. Check them out. Uh, I don't know if they're available anywhere shipping wise yet, but if you have an opportunity and you're in the local area, please check them out support these guys they're doing amazing stuff just look how dark both of these are castrain so they spent um they're from mgp they're from indiana and they spent their aging life in indiana um up until you know these may have spent a few months this one sr2 a little bit longer in louisiana weather but not enough to really impact it let's give it a nosing immediately i get like a a citrus kit kind of and then it goes into a brown sugar dark brown sugar interesting like if you creme brulee to you know put some dark brown sugar or brown sugar on a lime and kind of put a torch to it kind of deal it's very interesting oh it's so it's such a strong flavor like turn the volume up to 10 very interesting on the nose though all right, let's try the next one before I taste it. Completely different nose. This one goes way more to that baking kind of baking spice, caramel cake, kind of more on the less floral, more on the decadent dessert side of things. Mmm, very rich, like a, almost like a chocolate, definitely caramel. And a dark brown sugar kind of feel. Brown butter, maybe like a brown butter cookie. Chocolate chip cookie, maybe. This one's a little bit lighter. I almost get a hint of watermelon. It's not really watermelon, but that's kind of what jumped in my mind at first. Interesting. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm. forgot how good this bourbon was y'all definitely like a citrus like a watermelon almost not i know it's not citrus like a fresh summer fruit not very strong i'm not saying this is watermelon flavor don't get me wrong it's just kind of that fresh fruitiness that that kind of reminds me of that and that's not the major note but that's the note that sticks out because it's so different definitely has a nice deep caramel notes here mmm That is so interesting. It's been a while since I had this, obviously. Man, I don't even know what other notes to give it. It's, it's unique. It really is. Let's see. All right. Number two. Sweet tea, strong sweet tea note. God, there's no burn on that. It's 121.3 proof, no burn. Both of these very, very smooth in that respect, which is interesting because the flavor is really pumped up on both of these. That's... Hey guys, sorry about that little switcheroo here. Uh, make sure your camera has battery before you start recording. So uh, continue where I left off. I'm gonna have to go with SR2 on the sugar field. Just 
I like it just a little bit better. It's like I said a thousand times. I love all these, so it's going to be tough. But this is making it into the second round, the first round of, of six, and it'll be blind. So we'll check that out next week. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to like this video if you did, if you did like it, um, and subscribe to my channel for more like this. So thanks, guys. Y'all have a good time. Cheers.